welcome to Shof Gaming. This is Shafiasen playing Legends of the Keepers. Um, it's a roguelite, kind of the reverse of the Darkest Dungeon, where you are the dungeon master and have to prevent heroes finding the treasure or getting to the treasure. So let's head into it and play the game. So new save, Shafiasen. Yeah, great. So, yeah, let's play the tutorial. Congratulations and welcome to the Dungeons Company. As you saw on the job posting, your main task is to protect the treasures we keep in our dungeons. We don't have much time to spend training you, so please keep up. Heroes keep coming to try and take our treasures. The marketing team has worked hard to promise gold and glory to these idiotic adventurers. We have a little time before they get here, so let's place our traps and our employees to prepare a defense. Okay, so we're getting raided by three adventures, a barbarian, a frontline, a thug, and a scout with different skills. Cool. So let's place a trap, the bone catapult. Let's continue onwards with the tutorial. You leave an empty room in every dungeon. You can use it to ambush the adventurers with one of your favorite spells. Some rooms are dedicated to combat. This is my favorite bit. Make sure you analyze each group of adventurers. Your employees are counting on you to prepare an effective strategy. Pay attention to combatants' attacks and resistances. They are key elements for victory. Okay, cool. So we can choose between three, three units. Uh, one hundred and twenty hit points. So let's use this guy in the front as a tank, and then we have morale. Let's place. Oh, my bad. My bad. That's that's how that worked. Yeah. Hmm. Confirm. Oh, we got a big boss. Kentar. Cool. So this is the spell room right there. Cast a spell. We can only cast this spell at the moment, so let's cast it. And rage. So our units are in enraged at the moment. Insignificant humans. No reason work can't be fun. You can of course kill them or terrify them so much they'll flee like peasants, as you see fit. Don't forget that in battles, the fastest combatants act first. Okay, so speed is uh, is an important attribute to look at. Okay, so that's the speed. Holy crap. Okay, so scare. Yeah, let's go with everything the tutorial says that we have to do or what it wants us to do. Fireball. Damn. Scream of terror. Okay, so the purple is morale and the red is health. Almost got in the barbarian to zero. Go. Cool. Nice. Great, a survivor. Just what I needed to get there. 
Ooh. Yeah, let's do the whip. Damn, 97. That's a lot of HP right there. Let's kill him then. You did it. I knew from the start that you had potential. Know that here in Dungeon's company, we reward talent and value ambition. Shoot for the moon. And so, your training ends. I'll see you again next year for your annual evaluation. If you do a good job in protecting our treasures, you'll get the promotion you deserve. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have to reach different levels to get different end bosses. So let's play with the slave holder. It's a passion. Okay, so great monsters, uh, not so good traps, mm. spells and morale, high morale, that's good. Game mode, classic. Let's play classic, talents, we haven't gotten any talents. Oh, we got one talent point. Mm, grants the master chance to gain enraged each time he takes damage each time a monster is defeated grants 10 or 20 percent chance the monster gains shell damage reduction from damage taken from attacks reduced by 20 percent Ooh, the speed one is good burning whip As a vampire to starting monsters. Oh, huh. kind of like that one sounds good. This one looks good as well. Speed resistances. When a hero is defeated by a monster grants 10 slash 20% depending on how many points we have spent. A uh, chance that the group of the monsters gain enrage 3 damage morale. Okay, let's go for the vampire route. Let's get to work. Oh, I forgot about customization. Damn. Okay, so week 1. Let's head into week 1. Preparation phase. Okay, come on. Okay, so we're facing a novice monk or something called Kian. A lot of HP, uh, a barbarian as well, a lot of HP, and an apprentice. Uh, wizards are sorcerer of some some sort so 85 is the highest speed they that they have 85 45 25 so bleed maybe hmm let's use the rallying horn with an enraged three confirm So 120 speed 30 speed 40 speed 100 so let's use the yeti can attack the back line applies poison back line and frontline poison so area let's go with a poison build confirm and let's go with this guy fire damage morale so i think fire and spells wind and fire 
they do not have ice attacks. Yeah, this guy got ice attacks, resistances. Mm. It's our skeleton. Uh, uh, deals 12 ice damage to the monster with the lowest ice resistance at the start of each fight. Okay, so we're going with high DPS at the moment. Let's go with bleed. Nice. And then we got the end boss. Hopefully they will not reach the end boss. Oh. That's a lot of poison damage. Let's continue with our poison attacks. Hopefully the Yeti won't die. Please. 27. 3. Ooh, a close one. Let's use speed reduction 40. I wonder if let's let's try it out if speed reduction by 40 will result in the barbarian loses his turn. No, nope. he got his turn anyway. So it doesn't work that way. Let's try to kill the back line now. Nice. Whoa. Big dips. Okay, so we have killed one adventure. Let's use the burning whip. Try to take out the front line. Fireball, fireball is backline. Got fire resistance? No. Yeah. Does. Let's kill the monk before he takes any any actions. Now we only got the barbarian to worry about. Let's do high the highest damage possible. Got bleed. Hey, come on. So, got five stacks of bleed. That's it. Nice. Okay, so we can choose new one new. Uh, one one new monster. Ooh, ice skeleton. Got a high speed. But this guy also got a high speed. Morale damage can be paired with uh, the other one that destroys morale. Might be good. The ma magus. Skeleton will will do high DPS and also morale damage. Bleeding. Oh, that's a good one. That's the passive. Uh, monsters behind the skeleton soldier take twenty five percent less damage. That's a good one. Ah, uh, tough choice, man. Tough choice. Let's go with the skeleton. Confirm. As you could probably guess, dying isn't the nicest experience. Fortunately, our lich doctor is here to resurrect your employees for free. 
However, being dragged back to the land of the living after a taste of eternal peace can be quite demotivating. If your employees die too often, they might suffer from burnout. Okay. Your employees' morale is therefore a matter to be taken seriously. Give them a break from time to time by sending them to the garrison. The feasts organized after a victorious defense will make them want to get back into action. Okay, cool. So these guys suffered... Oh. Uh, suffered a morale... Reduction. Okay, continue. So, the team management allows you to choose in which room your employees will be deployed during the preparation phase of a dungeon. Empo employees kill lose 2 motivation. If an employee motivation drops to zero, they will go in burnout for 10 weeks. Your employees get 3 motivation back when they stay in garrison during the, during the defense of a dungeon. So, garrison. Okay. So these guys, they are suffered a loss of motivation. Hmm. Kind of want this guy with the fade. Morale, morale. Uh, morale and morale. Reduction. That's good. Oh, this guy also got it. So fire and ice. Air and air. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So choose a task. Spend some gold to upgrade your traps. Uh, spend some gold to train your active monsters. Deal with office troubles and business work environment for better or worse. Hmm. I think we'll train. 100 gold to train units. I need, first of all, a better front line. That's 200 cost. 250. Ooh, that costs a lot of gold. But let's do the Yeti first. 175. Trying that guy as well. So, week 3. Merchant. Uh, buy a monster trap from this unscrupulous merchant therapist. Morale review. Event. Let's go with the event. Office tour. While walking through the corridors, you notice a monster waiting for a job interview. You can hire the candidate right away, right now, without intermediaries. On the other hand, what makes them think you can, they can come uninvited? Intimidate. You can't hire. Can't, can't afford it. So intimidate. We got some tears. Gathered from heroes scared. Okay. Business trip. Choose an employee to protect the sales department during a business trip. Okay. Who can we work with? Morale, motivation. So, eight weeks. Monsters gain shell at the start. Let's get blood and, and gold. Yeah, sure. Adventures. Uh, first of all, let's move this guy. Okay, so those guys will be fielded once more. Adventures. Hmm. Demoralize.
guys, let's get bleeding in first room. And then we have to put the same same guys once more. And then the spell room. This room. Catapult. Let's go with a demoralized demoralized build. Yep. I haven't checked the stats. Oh, ice wasn't the best thing, I think. Should have gone with fire. If I look at the stats. Yeah, you live and learn, you live and learn. Ooh. Let's go with poison. That's a lot of damage. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're getting destroyed at the moment. Damn. Okay. Well, this isn't good. What can we do? Morale? No, let's do the whip. Catapults. So there are two left. Morale or... Hmm. Let's do Spectre Wave. And hypothermia. Let's try to demoralize them. Mm -hmm. Scream of terror. Hypothermia once more. Come on, flee, man, flee. Well, the scout got big dips. Okay. So that's the scout. Come on, one more and this guy will be gone. Nope. My bad. Now this time. We got some tears right there. Nice. Applies frostbite, applies one additional stack if the target's eye resistance. Ice resistance is negative. Ooh. Ballista, broken armor. Hmm. It depends, man. Ballista or. Yeah, frostbite. Let's go with frostbite. Sounds good. Now we need to let these guys rest. Spend some up gold. Let's buy more more monsters. And need more monsters. At least one frontline tank, I think. Let's get the skeleton soldier. Oh, we can also re-roll, but let's get the soldier. Leave. Uh, do not have enough gold, I think. So let's go with an event. While wandering around in the corridors this morning, you come face to face with a human. He seems as surprised as you are. What are you going to do? Yeah, let's get the gold. We need gold. So the alchemist transmute blood or tears into other resource. Okay. So blood and tears become gold. We can also transfer them between. 
Yeah, let, let's do one gold. Yeah, leave. Ah, plunder. Send three volunteers to plunder place of your choice. Let's do a, uh, an event. The r &D director has created a centrifuge that can tra for transform hair blood into tears. Do you want to use it? Oh yeah. Nice. Ah, I almost forgot. The company owns several dungeons that need protecting. We only send teams when our specialists inform us that a group of adventurers are approaching. You will sometimes have the choice of several contracts. The more dangerous the heroes, the higher your bonus if you succeed. Okay, cool. Thanks to the company's portal service, sending you to the other end of the world is a matter of moments. Cool. Hmm. Well, I think that's something for the uh, the next episode, episode two. So thank you all for watching this episode. I will be back in episode two with either adventurers or veterans. So please hit the su subscribe button and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode.